Hello, Jesse Good here. Today I'm reviewing the LEGO Harry Potter Quidditch Match Set from 2010. This has 153 pieces, 5 minifigures, and it retailed for $20 when it came out in 2010. Thanks to Jesse Carroll for letting me review this, and now let's get on to the minifigures. So here is Harry Potter, and that torso print is exclusive to the set, but it also comes on another figure in the set. The snitch is just a little one-by-one -one stud, which is kind of funny. Now the face print is a dual-sided one uh, with the angry face on the back that was used a lot in 2011-2010. And the little broom is a Quidditch broom. Unfortunately, no back torso printing for him, but he does have a cape to cover that up. We also have Draco Malfoy, which again has an exclusive torso print. Uh, and we do have that uh, broom in black. No back torso printing, but you do got a green cape to cover that up. And his face is double-sided. Uh, and the actual print isn't used in too many other sets. So you can see his face right there, but I think the only other set this face print is used in is the Hogwarts Express. So this is Oliver Wood, and he has a brown broom and a bat to go with it. His face print, I think, is the Mutt Williams face, if I'm not mistaken, from uh, 2008. Uh, he does have the Mutt Williams hair for sure. No back facial printing, unfortunately, and no back torso printing, but his cape kind of covers that up. They do also give you two helmets to kind of cover up any of the figures. So if you want to swap those out, you can just kind of put the helmets on, which it's just a regular navigator helmet, but it's still kind of a cool uh, thing to customize your figures with. So this is Marcus Flint. I love his face print, which looks really funny with the little gap in the teeth. He also has a bat as well and a brown broom. Uh, just the Agent Chase hair in that same color. No back torso printing. And again, like I said, they do give you an alternate kind of uh, helmet to go with the figure. And you can just kind of slide it on like this. And no back facial print for him, but let's just slip it on. Just like that, and you can see how well that fits on. Here is Madam Hooch, and this is the second time we got her, and the last time we got her. Really, her face print is so detailed. I love how that came out for even a 2010 figure. No back torso printing, but you do have that hair piece, the Widow's Peak hair piece in a gray color. But you do have an alternate face print as well, which looks pretty freaky. But yeah, it's nice to get her in a set. So here's the build all together. Let's start off with these Quidditch rings right there. Now they're all different sizes. This one's a little bit smaller than this one, and this one's a little bit smaller than that one. And they give you these little bludgers, I believe they're called. They're like these little balls right here. Don't quote me on that, because uh, my Harry Potter knowledge is a little bit rusty. But you could actually put those in these catapults, and I guess sort of launch them through the rings as a little game. And you can see mine didn't go through there. Let's see if I can go through this smaller one. Nope. Uh, but they do give you, I think, four different balls. I also put one right here because there's one for Slytherin and Gryffindor. Uh, so two different catapults uh, in terms of the colors. And you can also put them back in the chest when you're done playing with them. Then they have this little stand right here for hoops. And uh, it's actually a really cool build. It's kind of like a remake from the one from uh, 2002, I believe, or 2001. And that design right there, you have two little handlebars on the side to hold brooms if you want. You have kind of a bottom platform, and of course this kind of observing area for Hoopsh, and uh, she just kind of stands right there. And then all the way at the top, you do have this golden flag right there, which I know back in 2009, 2010, they loved using this pearl gold color for flags. Uh, so this golden flag is a kind of a common piece. Then the last build of the whole set is this little trophy stand right here, which you can see comes with a silver trophy. That's the same one they used for the World Racers line in 2010 in the summer. So it's just a reuse of that. You also got two flags right there, one for Gryffindor, one for Slytherin. And that's it for the whole build of the set. Uh, really, you use it to make a whole Quidditch scene. And there's those little hoops to kind of play around with. So let's go on to the packaging and then the final verdict. So here's the box for the set. You got that long, usually used for $30, but this is a $20 set, which is quite interesting. On the side, they actually advertise that old Harry Potter years one through four game. And the back shows these little play features. And the instructions on the back show the Harry Potter Hogwarts board game, some of the other Lego board games for 2010, the Harry Potter years one through four game, and oh, no advertisement for the actual sets. So that's kind of sad. I was hoping to see some of those 2010 sets. So overall, the Quidditch match set was a fantastic deal back in the day. I mean, $20 for five minifigures, and all of them have exclusive torsos, some of them have exclusive faces. That's a fantastic deal. And then you got the whole play feature of Quidditch. Yeah, you can't play the actual game, but they give you those little launchers to shoot around. They give you all these little actual Quidditch brooms to kind of imagine all of it. It's just a great play set and all that considered. I can't rate it because it is out of print. But I do recommend getting this secondhand if you are getting into the world of Harry Potter. The only thing is, it is pretty pricey secondhand because it was such a good set. 
So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.